What's up everyone, welcome to another video of Ark Survival Evolved. In this video, we're going to be looking at my smoothest start in what's probably 18,000 hours of Ark now. This was recorded on INX Duos. It was a super fun wipe. I went into it without a plan at all. Didn't even know if I was going to be playing with a tribe mate or if I was going to be solo. I just thought I'd see where the wipe took me. And uh, yeah, this is how it went. Yeah, so as I said, I went into this wipe without a plan at all. I was just going to try and get turrets and find some rat hole to live in. I knew that I had a mate playing the server solo as well. I didn't know if I was going to trip him with him or not. We were just kind of doing our own thing. But for the base start of this, my goal was to get mailings and to try and tame a doad as quick as I could so I could go to extinction and get some electronics. As I think that's way faster than just farming it by hand with pearls and metal. But yeah, this is how it went. I might get it. A little bit more of a kit together. And then I forgot about this bullshit. Oh great, I'm like legit stuck. And I'll have grapple yet. That is I'm very unlikely. Grapple. Yeah, like like legit, I don't know what I'm supposed to do right now. Okay, that kind of worked. Okay, okay, can I make a ladder right here? <gasps> I leave right now. The first drop I open on wipe 714 Dura Flak Lake Blueprint. Holy shit. 714 Dura. That's insane. Fucking dip, Kevin. Fucking dip. Yeah, oh, get that in your upload, ASTP. Oh, shit balls. What the mother of titty biscuits, holy. Where Dude, was the drop? It's in the fucking. One of the fjorda caves. Holy shit, that's crazy! Oh shit, there's a fucking dude at the terminal I want to go to. Yeah, just, just, just leave so I can, I can play the game. I don't want to fight you. Thank you. So shortly after that raid on Crystal Isles, my mate who was playing on the server at the time, he had just got wiped. So we ended up tribing in and getting him in the rat hole. Um, at the same moment, I got DM'd by some other mates who were running bosses and invited me along. So I said, fuck it, I'll take the free bosses. And that's how it went. I don't know how to do this. Fuck the idiot. <laughs> Come I mean... on. Yay! <laughs> Stop, better. Now you can try cry or you just shit back of it. Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, I think it turned around. Oh, shit. Was on 4 and 6 is what's on. And I don't get to steal your points, so I'm lucky. Well, we're an element. Let's hope we don't fucking. Like. I'm gonna kick you with the kangaroo. Fuck. What the fuck? I'll rocket uh, your ass. Uh, no. We're just the only dinies, and. Wait, we have four dinies and the rest of us on foot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Are Yo, you fucking asshole? Yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Tell yourself. God. Well, Fuzzy, we, do, we only need the engrams, you know? Oh, yeah, uh, just as long as I get fucking dragon. Damage, I, don't damage, fuck. I mean, you kinda need Abe for fucking gen. Yeah, I'll just You're a fucking you Abe. So, I, can, I can get it stuck, I can get it stuck. I'm confident, I'm confident. Right. It's false confidence, we know confidence. I am, I am not confident in this. Hi, everyone, run to the back of the wall if you fucking don't have a chicken. Uh, I didn't get ported. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 wait. No, 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 no,
Okay, is that shot gonna be I mean, here? I'm not stressing, but as long as Kev gets the Ingram, so we can make a base and. and yeah, because it's here. Oh. <laughs> Fuck it. It dies. Oh. It dies. There's just two chickens looking up at nothing in the air. Yeah. Hey, where'd it go? Ew. Thank you, gamers. Appreciate it. So, me being the content creator genius that I am, I never actually recorded the rat hole I built. It was only a starter, and I was only there for the first, I'd say, five hours of wipe. But it was a pretty cool rat hole, so I'll make sure I find it for you guys in the later video. But as far as I went with this, it was on Gen 1. While TPing out to Bog, I found a little starter base up on a, one of the metal pillars. And I decided to raid it with a race that I tamed. I know. I'm debating just soaking it. The one already soaked. Holy shit. It's always the fucking mailings, I swear to god, dude. You want me to try and hit him? Oh, fuck. They won't move, is the issue. <laughs> ow, fuck, oh, no, ow. They're... They're not on neutral or anything. Nah, they're just, they're raised. They haven't been touched since they were raised. Oh, fuck you. I'll just tank your fat ass. Come on, keep shooting. Empty your thing. Empty it. Come on. Hurry up, you little fucking bastard. Come on. Chop, chop. Good on you. Oh, it's lagging. Is it lagging? Is it soaked? I need to soak that one. It's not. Ow! What the fuck are you? Good thing it hit me in the fucking thousand year legs. <laughs> yeah. You good? Hold on. Me thinks they may have moved. I might agree okay. with you. Oh no, oh, there's a whole bunch in here. Bunch of saddles around in here. Best guess they got like roughed up real bad. I don't know though, like their base is untouched. Like they made a. What? What? Uh, oh god. I thought he was already dead, so I thought you just died, and I panicked. Out of a... Eh. Eh. This is really fucking depressing. Not too long after that bog grade, no chance that loop back to my base. Not that there was much of it. I went to Fjorder again to go tame some more mailings and some other stuff like carbos and races. Um, before I got to do any of that, I found a text database. I decided I was going to soak it as I had the stuff to make some cakes and I thought it'd be easy. I was very, very wrong. So after soaking for about two minutes, I said, screw this, I'm going to go back and get a race and build. And I did. Is that went.
I did actually end up getting a whole bunch of loot from this base. It was a really nice kickstart to the rest of the wipe. After getting that flak leg blueprint and all the loot from the last two raids, I was actually set up for quite a nice wipe. Went to Fjorda to keep scouting for caves, and I found that Fjord Sewer Cave had just been raided. So I jumped in there immediately and dropped down a check gen at the bottom of the drop down. Surprisingly, the raiders had left. I'm assuming to go get more stuff to build it, but I had just come at the perfect time. I decided to build it as quickly as I could. Uh, it was only after I had built it that I noticed that there was actually a fob behind my fob deeper in the cave. So my next target was to obviously remove that from my new base. Bro, you can definitely put fucking turrets down this cave, deep brain. He did too. I then got the opportunity to put some turrets directly above the drop down so they couldn't come back up. Or can you get on the backside maybe? Like yeah, but even then, that's look how far back it is. Yeah, but you would just be, you'd just be that much closer if you jumped over there. Do you just walk backward off this shit? I have engram, yeah, I have no thing there for it. Alright, rifle life, this doesn't work. But this should work. You just back it up off the edge and then walk forward as soon as you're off. Yeah, I think you got that. I mean, worst case scenario, I think he's still breaking this one. Right? I'm soaking actually. Oh, it's soaked. Oh my god. Carbo rush. I then tamed the direwolf to check out the rest of the cave to make sure there were no beds because that would have sucked, which there weren't luckily. And yeah, that's pretty much how our day one ended. We had a bit of a rough, rough mid patch there. We had no real cave to live in, so we were on rag. But it actually ended out really perfect by me just finding the, getting lucky with the gold opportunity to get in this cave. We actually get to defend this cave quite a lot. There's a few big fobs in the next video, big defenses. There's a couple more small base raids, but this season was mostly full of defense for us, which I really love because it's really good for content. But unfortunately, that did stop us from doing a lot of other big raids because we were stuck just prepping for defense and rebuilding the cave over and over again. So you guys will get to see all that in the next episode. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time.